searching for this. Traveled the world. Visitors of Ireland and the Hebrides. The Orkney, the Shetlands and the Faroe Islands. I'm asking if I can find a silky myth. If anything, I'm an expert. I was here. Traveling the world. Reading every book, every article, seeking out every myth, legend and folk story. It's just justification. Because the human mind can't accept what they don't believe. I accept it though. I accept what I see sitting in front of me.
long? How long have I got? By my calculations, if the doctor's report is accurate, you'll be dead in three or four months. <sighs> what is going on? What is happening to me? Why is this happening to me? I have been to numerous doctors now. I have been tested on so many times. I've had so many people taking my blood and... <sighs> I came to you because I thought you might be able to give me something definite. No theories, just an answer. What is happening to me? Some people might think it's cancer or something like that, but it's, it's not. I've never seen anything like this. Your genetic makeup is altering at a subatomic level. So, maybe I'm not dying? Maybe I'm changing? Charges in position. Yep, right across the pipeline. Excellent. Detonate!
What are you doing here, Hugo? I came to see you. What, what were those files back there? The, 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 I found this no, one. In, I, I found this one. It's about turning light into a, a, a physical being. What? What is this? Have a seat. Sit down. Listen, Hugo. The reason you came to me with your problem with those doctor's reports is because... I deal in things that the majority of the population of this world think is absurd, think is ridiculous. I deal in concepts and ideologies that are thought as madness. I look beyond the obvious. I think outside the box. I look into things that warp and twist reality as we know it. The less you know about my world, the better. want it. And what could you possibly bring to the table? I can bring you an experiment. Oh? What? Me. Look, I believe that impossibility is an impossible notion. Therefore, I believe that I can warp reality to how I, how I see it. Okay, prove it. See the cathedral? I see it. Look at the clock. I'll move it backwards. An impossible act, right? Exactly. I believe that I can do this. Watch. Right, okay. for this. You know, to me, you're just a, an ant just carrying leaves back to the hive. It's, you're just a complete and utter waste of space. Crawl under the rock that you came from and just get the hell out of my sight. I'm test piloting the new atomic airplane at Kirkwell Airport. Don't contact me again. trying to find a substitute for fossil fuels for years now. With no luck, what I've done here is experimented with atomic power. This plane is powered by an atomic drive. Cheap, resourceful, economical, however, extremely unstable if not handled properly. The reason why it's been installed in this World War II bomber was I needed a light aircraft that was movable and adjustable. I won this one on eBay. B110 to Kirkwood Tower, requesting permission for takeoff for a short flight over Orkney mainland. Over. This is Kirkwood Tower to B110. Be clear for taking off. Over. B110 to Kirkwood Tower, all received. Over. Right. Starting up engines. <laughs> Tower. A 
a slight issue with the land land port. I'm seeing now. This is Kirkland Tower to be one one zero. Is everything okay? Over. B one one zero to Kirkland Tower. You see me over? Steering. B one one zero to Kirkland Tower. Do you see over? Emergency. Emergency. Steering. <laughs> B110 to Capital Tower, do you receive me over? Emergency, emergency. B110 to Capital Tower, do you receive me? I mean, look at what you managed to do. How long have you been doing that? How long have you had them? Don't have an explanation. No explanation? Hugo, it's obvious. Your illness. You saw the reports. Listen. Doctors gave me three months. People are terrified of what they don't understand. Your illness is the perfect example of that. They were terrified of what it was. They couldn't explain it, so they put it down to a weakness. But it's not a weakness. So what next? Simple. We find out what you can achieve, what exactly what your true potential is. High five! Ah, oh. oh, you son of a... Oh. Sorry.
didn't think I'd see you again. Thought I had skipped town. I'd hoped you had. Then I read about that terrorist attack. You're doing? Just the beginning, my old friend. Just the beginning. Why are you here? I've come to thank you. I mean, I never did like my life die that much. I saw, I read about your uh, plane crash, how tragic. I'm, I'm glad you weren't injured at all. What are you up to? More importantly, what are you up to? What was that thing that stopped the crash? You're going to tell me everything you know about Hugo Locke. I don't think so. Brooks? Brooks? You're not Brooks. Brooks is otherwise engaged. I think you better tell me where he is. <laughs> Make me. <laughs>
Irene. Yeah? I want you to tell all your friends about me. But who are you? I'm Hugo Locke. Then what did he say? He told me to tell all my friends about him. And what did you do? Well, I told all my friends about him. Oh, idiot. This world needs an enema. If Hugo Locke is wanting to be some kind of, of hero, I guess I better be the villain. Bidding my master. In Japanese, young How is that possible? I sabotaged the Sumatopic Drive myself. Boy, bless me, I'm telling you, far beyond your understanding. Need a threat to our to destroy us. If he could be turned, he would be a powerful ally. You will join us or die. Dancing devil in the pale moonlight. I'm Brooks! No, you're not. You might look like him, but you're not him. Well, hot damn! You're just about the smartest cookie in the cookie jar, aren't you? I sense something that's just not quite right. It's. Who are you? Well, sir, I have a deal for you. Your power, my power, we could join together. Together we could rule the galaxy as co worker and co worker. I don't think so. Let me tell you about this guy I know. Mean seed. Bad person. Like to hurt people. I like him already. Sounds like my kind of guy. He's the kind of guy who couldn't see a train coming until it was two feet away from him. Do you know what happens to this guy, Mr. Brooks? No idea. Well, you made mistakes, and you know what? Lights out! Do you want to get nuts? Come on! Let's get nuts. Never rubber, never man's rhubarb. What did you do to me? What? Where's your eye patch? Eye patch? Wait. 
he was here, wasn't he? Did he did he shoot you with something? What did he do to me? Oh no! Hugo, this is bad. How are you feeling? What was that weapon? I call it the splitifier. A what? It's a sub-atomic weapon used to divide the personalities of the subject. Where do you get such wonderful toys? I made it. It's a Pandora experiment. What exactly does it do? Simple. It divides the personality of a subject into two. Usually good and evil. However, that varies depending on, on, on the target, on the subject that it is, it's used on. Yourself, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. And what I created started Ember Rain. Started the smuggling and the trafficking across Orkney and Shetland. The terrorist attack on Flotter. That was your other self? Yes. He did that. Under the guise of Ember Rain. The entire electrical grid of Orkney is destroyed! <laughs> It's more than that. It's not just the electrical kid. It's also the sonar detection system. I have to stop my split. He's got all my powers, but he will only use them for evil. But have you ever asked why? Why was he created? Why did my split create him? Did you ever ask that question? He's created him to slow you down. But why? What does Emberine want? It's it's already destroyed Flotter. It's already destroyed the National Grid. And sabotaged my subatomic plane. Ah! <laughs> Why? Ah, it's a diversion. It's all a diversion, okay? The attack on the National Grid, the, the sabotaging the atomic plane, it was to draw our attention away from what they're really up to. Which is? The attack on the National Grid didn't just disable power to houses in Orkney. It also forced and disabled the sonar search grid set up by the Coast Guard and the Island Ecology Marine Life Institute. But that's just to detect animal migrations. What would a marine want to disable it for? To stop people seeing what's coming. Have a look at this. This is a sat image of Orkney taken two days ago. Looks fine, right? Looks normal. Exactly. However, here's another one. Taken this morning. Notice anything different? It's the same. Wait, no, hold on. What's that off the coast of Sandy? Uh, what does it look like? Looks like an island. Exactly. Ember Rain disabled the sonar search grid so no one would see that thing, that island off the coast coming straight for us. They're moving an island? From what I can tell, from the satellite image, they've attached four propulsion engines to the side of that island. They managed to detach it off the coast of Iceland and are steering it straight towards Orkney at high speed. How fast? What's that? There's a broadcast being sent across all mediums. It's Ember Rain. In less than two minutes, the world is a off the coast of Orkney to the west. There is a new island on the collision course. That island will begin to cause a time movement. Huge friction between it and that small offers on that, as you have come to know. In reaction, that will split Great Britain in half. In a few hours, a massive movement of landmass, not seen since the era of the dinosaurs, will occur, killing billions of lives. The world will be not will change in a storm of fire and death, and we claim that act. Ember Rain. 
responsible for the creation of the new world. Enjoy Armageddon. than his split. Ah, it was a rhetorical question, you idiot! Where is Locke now? There. He's heading towards the coast. There's no way he can stop this. Is there?
geographic stability of the islands is improving. Whatever Hugo's done, it's working. How is that even possible? I've given a name to my pain, and that name is Hugo Rock! I'm honored! You failed! The island engine is destroyed! Well, aren't you the cleverest apple in the patch? Forgive me for not leaping for joy! Bad back, you know. So, what's next for me, Mr. Locke? Slapping the wrists? Handcuffs? Thrown to jail? Ember Rain stops now. You could have destroyed millions of lives. Well, to get to me, you're gonna have to go through him first!
What are you doing? I'm finishing the experiment, Hugo. I believe the impossible. The concept says that if I believe... I believe that this gun will not kill you. Put your hand down, Hugo. I'm just finishing your experiment. But what if it does? Then you'll be dead. Look, please, wait! The concept of impossibility is unholy possible to not be possible. <laughs> You were right, Hugo.